what made you pursue this career in this art form? It's a, it's a few things. Like, one, my people, they, my fam, they was always in the music. My dad was a DJ at one time. My mom was an actress slash singer in the church. So I always been around music. Coming from Detroit, that's like the gospel hub. Yeah. So growing up with the YNNs, all them, like so, that was already in place in me. I just always loved the piano. Like my mom would go shopping and. I would literally just sit there by the pianist and just listen. She'd be gone for hours. I'd just be listening, like classical. So that, my brother, because he started uh, producing first. And it's funny because I had a trial and error because he put me on uh, this beat machine. I forgot what it's called, the something 9000. And it was just too much. It was too complicated. This guy kept erasing his old beats. So he started <laughs> tripping out on me. And I was like, all right, I'm going to just leave beat making alone, even though I loved it. And then I just, 2005, I was just like, it was when I went to college. I got reason. And I just was making beats. And I was hooping and making beats. And I was just like, okay, this is clearly why I'm, I'm not in college just to hoop and make beats. So maybe I need to recenter what I'm doing. So growing up, you said your mother and your father was into the art form. How much have you think they affected your style currently? Listening to the old music, listening to classical, listening to all it that. It got damaged. Mm -hmm. So 2003. So basically what it was, it was an ice storm before the power out, the big old power outage. And then uh, it came, our, our power came back on. We had a generator and a gas tank in the garage. So I don't know what happened. We had a bad GFI plug. That's what the fire people said. And house caught on fire. Mm. Garage. Now, mind you, my dad was a DJ. He had crates. You remember those old plastic mm -hmm. crates about like this the milk big? Crate. Yeah. He had at least like 20 of those in the attic full of records. Mm. Man, I think that would have probably, I would probably be a totally different producer because that's just so much music that I wasn't able to just mm. pop in and listen to. But um, my parents, my mom, you know, cause they both ministers. So, you know, they were more like, you better be making beats for the Lord. Like, mm. like, so, you know, most of my music is centered towards, you know, pop culture. So they didn't affect it that much but they always hurt me because before I was a producer, I just played. Like I would literally, I thought I was gonna be the next Michael Jordan Jackson. Like mm -hmm. I hooped and then I, I sing and play. Like I, if I wasn't hooping, I'd be in my room practicing, learning new chords and all that. But they definitely played a part though. It's always deep rooted. Cause I always, anytime somebody do music or whatnot, like us hooping, it's funny. We kind of fit that either you slinging you know, so, but when you're growing up, I say, the uh, reason why I asked for that, because it seemed like everybody's style, yeah. and obviously your name too, yeah. but the style comes from that. The ground, yeah. Earth, yeah. wind, the, and the fire, core. or yeah. whatever oh, yeah. the case it may be. What was, what was that was played? What was Church. played Church. in your own? So, so I, I knew I was a producer way before I knew what producing was. I literally in a family room would grab my little Lego boxes because they came in like a plastic bin and set them around and have drumsticks and press play on like the church songs and just mm. practice drum. But my drums were like, my, my rhythm was horrible. Mm. As a kid, my rhythm was horrible. Like couldn't keep a, a, a rhythm for nothing. But I practiced and I got better. But I never really played the drums like that because my, my parents, they played a big part, but it was like, it was like they met me 50-50. So um, they got all of us stuff. Like they got my brother a drum set, they got my sister a piano, even though I wanted that. And then they gave me a bass and I was just like, oh, I don't know God. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 give me the I ain't no bass player. Piano, yeah. I was like, give me the guitar at least. Like, he's mm -hmm. like, no, we, my brother, he, you know, he'd be like, no, we need a bass. We need to, we need to feel it. And I was just like, so I, like, they tried to push me to learn a bass. Like, even the bass uh, player from church would be like, trying to show me stuff. I'm just like, that's just not me. Like, mm -hmm. like I feel like bass, like, you have to love that. Like, 
And I ain't love it like that. Um, I wish I would have learned. Like, I wish I wasn't stubborn. Mm. Like, because then I probably, my base skills would probably be on a whole different level. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.